And here we are, part two of becoming a real estate investor. And we're going to start off, we're not going to start off, part two is going to be about our first niche, our first niche in what we want to be concentrating on in single family residences. And that is wholesaling, wholesaling and real estate. So the first of all, just for those who don't know already, let's just quickly go through what is wholesaling. Wholesaling is when you find a piece of property, a house, a residence, or other words, but today we're talking about residences. You find a deal, it's on the market for whatever reason, and it's a good deal. And you turn around, you get it under contract, and you sell that contract, the right to purchase that property to another investor. That's what wholesaling is. Why you do that, how you do that, all that, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Just so you understand, wholesaling is when you go out and find a piece of property and you just want to make some quick money or for whatever reason, you get a good deal, you get in contract and you turn around and assign or sell that contract to another real estate investor and get paid up front. Usually these things run about $5,000 to find and get paid up front. Find a good deal, sell it to somebody else for about $5,000. And what you need to be thinking about really is, it's one of the reasons, some people, all they do is wholesaling. There's big wholesale outfits out there. That's all they do. There's some individuals that just do wholesaling. I mean, honestly, if you could do one deal a month um, and you're working part-time at it, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. That's $60,000 in extra income, extra income for you each year. One deal a month. It's reverse engineer these things, these numbers out, folks, and that's where it gets kind of scary. In real estate, it's right there. It's it's totally possible. It's being done every day by hundreds and hundreds of people, or wholesalers, if not thousands. And in coming up in 2023, we're going to see a massive amount of volume, and there's going to be way more properties that are going to be able to be handled. But it doesn't matter how many uh, wholesalers there are out there. How many people are doing wholesaling? It doesn't matter. It, there's going to be more more value and more uh, volume than what we can possibly handle. And that's all of us together. I don't really do that much wholesaling anymore, but I work with wholesalers. So if you're ever looking for somebody to pick up one of your wholesale deals, don't be afraid to pick up the phone and call me, okay? But wholesaling in 2023 is going to be amazing. But let's talk about you know your average deal and just give you a feel for how it works. You go out and you find a property and you look at it. And for whatever reason, you, the first thing you say is, why would people do this? Well, the short answer is, I don't know, but they do it all the time. I do know, but there's so many reasons why they're, I'm not going to go through them. I don't have enough time. Trust me, they do. And that's why there's hundreds, if not thousands of wholesalers. They get these deals all the time. So, but we're going to use just some quick numbers and say that you find a deal. It's worth 200000 you did the comps, you do your searches, comps are comparable sales, um, properties that have sold that are like in kind. That means they're like the same kind of property. They're just like the property or as close to it as possible. And you see that the value, it looks like it's going to be around $200,000, but you're able to pick this up for $150,000. So it's a great deal, right? Sure. It's a great deal. Mm, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. For me, actually, it's a little bit thin, but We'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, you think $50,000. Well, $50,000 can disappear really quickly in a real estate deal and with expenses and whatnot. But you just, let's say you have a $150,000 contract on this place. You just go out and you want to sell it to somebody. You turn around and sell it to somebody. You'd sell it to me. Um, I would buy it for you for $5,000. I would, sure. I mean, if the value is real, absolutely. I'd probably not want to flip it. I'd probably hold it as a rental because by the time you get done with your sales commissions and so forth and so on, a lot of that $50,000 is going to disappear. And going into 2023 and this recession and where the market's going with the adjustments, anything I'm looking to buy right now, I'm looking to look for good deals now, but they're going to have to be long-term because I don't know where the market's going to be going in the next year or two. So you want to get paid right away? Turn around and sell the contract. Now it has to be an assignable contract. And you have to have a legal contract. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Absolutely. Every state is different. So I can't tell you what. Uh, and there's actually some states that are very specific, uh, that are anti-wholesalers. And I'll tell you why in a different video. But trust me, it's, it's their way of blaming the 2008 Great Recession on people who made money after the fact, which is completely wrong. But, you know, politicians do what 
gets them popular. And if they can place the blame on somebody other than themselves, well, then that's where the blame's going. Um, different video, different day. Anyhow, look into your own state's rules regarding wholesaling properties. There's a state or two out there, I can't remember off the top of my head which ones they are, but they're very restrictive. And more states are becoming more restrictive. And as this recession deepens, they'll probably become even more restrictive as how you have to do things when you put these things in contract. If you're going to wholesale things, there comes in down to a thing called a single close or a double close. I'm not gonna go through the details of that today either, but that's really what most of the rules are surrounding is whether or not you can use somebody else's money to fund the deal that you made an agreement with a third party for. So absolutely get an assignable contract. These are purchase contracts, by the way. Single family residence purchase contracts. And you want one that is assignable so that you can assign that contract and you want an attorney to review it. Absolutely have an attorney review it. It's 150 bucks probably. Have an attorney review it. Make sure it's all good to go. You don't want any problems later. You don't want to have a problem over a deal that you're going to make $5,000 off of. Not at all. So definitely, definitely get it reviewed. Now, the, the other question that always comes up is, you know, where are you going to find these investors to sell to? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Literally, don't worry about it. There's investors all over the place. Like I told you before, me, you can call me. There's investors. You can find them on Craigslist. There's the great thing called the internet these days, guys, girls, everybody investors are always looking for you. They want you to go out there and do this work for them because they don't have to pay you until you find something that's going to make them more money than they're paying you. Finding investors is really easy. Finding the people to flip them to, finding the sellers is going to be harder than finding the investors. And we're going to talk about that later on when we're talking about how to find these deals. But if you're wondering, well, how are you going to find these investors? That real estate investor club that you join, there's probably 10 or 15 of them in there alone let alone what's all over the internet. You can pick, find them all over the place. And when it comes down to the sellers, we're gonna talk about, again, that a little bit later. But the bottom line is these deals absolutely exist. They happen every day. There are so many people doing them and they're a great resource. They're a great resource to get started. To get started, in, it just gets some cash flow going. Like I was saying, 5,000 bucks a deal, you do one deal a month, $60,000 a year in extra income. Do 2,000, two deals a month. 2,000 deals a month. <laughs> Do two deals a month. Quick math, yeah. It's $120,000 a year in extra income. And this definitely can be done part-time. It's done part-time by a lot of people. So anyhow, that is wholesaling. And if I've forgotten anything, obviously put it in the comment section below. I will answer you directly. And if you have any more questions, we can talk directly. And now... Get ready for part three, which is going to be the fix and flips.